good morning students today we take up the final and concluding part of the lesson asia today we are going to take up transport and cities of asia so let us continue transport networks in many parts of asia are not very well developed the harsh climate in the north the difficult terrain in the central mountain regions and the extensive deserts have hampered the development of an efficient transport system so here we can see how the harsh mountain system looks like and how it has hampered the terrain has hampered the building of roads and so are the deserts the densely populated plains of southern and eastern asia have well developed roads some of the world's highest roads are located in asia's central mountainous region so here you can see how the densely populated region of the gangetic belt have developed so many beautiful roads where connectivity has increased and here in the backdrop of the mountains very high roads have been built for better connectivity with the mountainous areas rail transport is important for carrying passengers and bulky goods over long distances india and china have the largest networks of railways in asia china has some of the world's highest railways high speed trains run between major cities in several asian countries here you can see some high speed trains which are very efficiently moving from one city to another like japan china south korea taiwan and turkey the trans siberian railroad the world's longest railway passes through northern asia it continues in northern part of asia for a long distance and then it moves into europe most of the trans siberian railways track lies in asia inland water transport is very important in south and southeast asia the irrawaddy the mekong the ganga and the brahmaputra are the busiest waterways in asia however the rivers in the northern part of asia are not so important because they remain 
unsuitable for navigation as they remain frozen for nearly eight months a year. So most of the waterways which are used for inland transport are in the southern and southeastern part of Asia. Sea transport is important for international trade. The two important sea routes are through the Swiss Canal and the Pacific Route. The Pacific Route connects the ports of Eastern Asia to North and Southern America. Some of the world's busiest ports are in Asia and they include Tokyo in Japan, Yokohama, Kobe also in Japan, Manila in the Philippines, Jakarta in Indonesia, Mumbai in India, Colombo in Sri Lanka, Karachi and Aden towards the west. Airways is an important means of communication in Asia because of the vast size of the continent and also because of its difficult terrain. Many places in the remote north and central mountainous region are linked with the rest of the world only through airways. Most Asian countries have domestic air services linking large cities. Most of them also have international air services. The major ports of the continent include Beijing, Dubai, Tokyo, Hong Kong, Shanghai, Singapore, Seoul, Bangkok, New Delhi, Jakarta, Kuala Lumpur and Mumbai. Asia has some of the most populous cities in the world. These include Tokyo, New Delhi, Shanghai, Mumbai, Istanbul and several other cities like Dhaka, Karachi, Manali and Hong Kong. So students, today we have learnt about how the different transport systems like roads, railways, waterways and airways are linking different parts of Asia domestically and also internationally. We have also saw, sorry, we have also seen how there are several big and populous cities in Asia. So that is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.